InDesign's print booklet feature is great for printing documents from InDesign. But maybe you'd like to create a PDF in order to move the document to a different computer for printing. You can also use print booklet to create a PDF. Here's an eight page saddle stitch example. I'll go to file, print booklet. Confirm the booklet type is two up saddle stitch and then let's choose print settings. From here, let's change our printer to PostScript file. Now, instead of printing to paper, InDesign will create a file, and we'll use this file to create our PDF. Let's go ahead and run through setup and then marks and bleeds. We'll confirm our correct paper size, the orientation, scaling, and page position. I like to use centered. Next, moving on to marks and bleeds, I'll want to confirm that crop marks are turned on and that I do have a suitable bleed amount set. When done, click OK. That'll take us back to the print booklet window. Choose preview and confirm that everything looks correct. When you're ready to create your PostScript file, click Print. You'll need to choose a location to save the file and also confirm that the name is correct. Notice that InDesign is adding a file extension to the name already, .ps. Click Save when you're ready. OK, here's the PostScript file I just created. I'll use this to create the PDF. I'll open the file with Adobe Acrobat Pro, and the conversion will take place automatically. You can also use the Max Preview app for this conversion. Here's our completed PDF file with crop marks and bleeds. Keep in mind you've created a new file, so you will need to save it.